question. How did your uh, your rugby career kind of help you prepare for an MMA, if it did at all? I mean, is there something that you learned or the maybe like the physicality, the some of the, the skills? Uh, I mean, what, how did that set you up? Because clearly, I mean, for someone to come in at 22, that's generally pretty late. And then it's mm -hmm. not just that. I mean, that's that's only nine years ago. And here you are, it's champion today. So like that's, uh, you know, you had to have had some kind of something in you. I mean, I know you have the wrestling background, but um, other than that, I mean, did how did rugby help you? Mental, mentally mm -hmm. and still physically. So when I talk about physically, not skills, I wouldn't say I got some skills or maybe different set of skills, you could say. But I was, a, you know, I'm five foot six if I'm lucky. So these guys are literally twice the size of me. And I've always, and I, I look at them as that's just, that's my competition. I don't look at them as bigger or nothing. So I've always mentally been like, I can take these big guys on. It's nothing. That's what I'm used to. Yes, I'm used to running straight at these brick walls, you could say. I'm used to doing that. I'm used to, you know, getting, you know, it's weird. It's just, so mentally I've all, I look at these featherweights and they look, they look half my size, even though they're all bigger than me, all of them. I'm like, the, I'm a small featherweight. We are talking about before that I could probably do band and weight if I really wanted to. So I'm not big, but I look at these guys and even feel them. And I'm like, oh, I'm so much stronger than these guys. I'm so much bigger than them. And I, that's not me being, being cocky. It's just, I guess it's from back in the days when I was playing rugby league, you know what I mean? And just things like that. And then, and then you have that contact, you know, that physicality contact, you know, bashing each other, hardening your body, conditioning your body. You know what I mean? It's just, again, like if you watch me, a five foot six guy, and I'd literally run as fast as I can into two or three mountains of men. And then you tell me like, you know, you do that for 10 years or something. So it's going to make you hard. It's going to make you pretty hard. It's going to make you used to beating up your body. It's good. You're going to condition your body. You know what I mean? And then mentally it's going to help you. And I believe that that, that has definitely mentally helped me. I've always been pretty athletic. And, and things like that even for a, a bigger again i was pretty chubby in that but i was always still pretty athletic you know these little legs could move so uh, it's just something that over time from day one no matter who's in front of me i was always going to take it on so i still i do that in the gym now like whoever whoever's in front of me who's ever whoever's on top of me whoever whatever i'm going to find a way to, to either get on top of win or if they are on top of me and I can't win, I'm going to try and get up or I'm going to make them work to hold me down. You know, I'm always, I don't give up. I'm not, I don't have that in me. And I think it's because of my whole life of just always pushing myself and not accepting defeat. But you will be defeated sometimes, but I won't accept it. I'll try until that bell goes. You know what I mean? It helps. It does help a lot. You've also, I mean, you haven't been defeated in, a, I think it's around, I was looking at it around seven years. I mean, you're eight and on the UFC. You're on a 17 fight win streak. Do you, you know, I mean, some people, when they get to that kind of level and haven't lost in that long, they almost feel invincible. I mean, how do you kind of keep yourself in check and, and realize, look, I, I'm, I'm champ now. I'm on a 17-fight win streak, 8-0 in the UFC, haven't lost in seven years. I mean, you know, how do you kind of mentally just stay stay focused? Man, it's I'm always expecting the best out of my opponents or, you know, I wouldn't say the worst out of me, but I'm expecting the worst. Come fight time. I'm expecting that I'm going to, I might get tired. I'm expecting that, you know, things might not go my way. So I am preparing for everything. Yeah, there's a good chance it's not going to go down that road, but I'm prepared for it. I'm prepared for, you know, Max Holloway, a striker. We all knew that he was going to want to strike with me, but I, I, was, I was still prepared. If he, for some reason, wanted to grapple, I guarantee I could have went 50, 25 minutes of solid grappling, scrambling. I was prepared for everything. I'll always put myself in a position when I'm always prepared. I always prepare myself for the worst. I prepare myself for, for anything. And even in the gym, uh, you know, to keep myself fit, even though, you know, if I'm just sparring one person, we do, ex we do sessions where like the whole purpose of a session is to, you know, do you mind me swearing? Go swear as much as you want. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's to fuck you up. Literally. It's to, it's so you cannot move. Like you are, you are going to, there's going to be five guys on you. We call it the spider. I don't know if you've seen uh, our, one of our work. I saw the video yesterday yeah. when, you, when you're going on through to all the different well, guys. Well, there you go. Well, that was the last one minute of 25 oh, minutes. Right, right, worth right. Of, okay. Yeah. So, so I've already, all them people you're seeing, they're all pretty much attacking us. Minute, minute, you know, whether it's me picking them up, slamming them, then they're wrestling. Then I have to literally wrestle them on the cage. You know, so you're, you're putting yourself to breaking point and you still got to go. So I am getting defeated while that's happening. 
Like, you know what I mean? You cannot win the whole time. It's impossible. Yeah. But I mean, you are going to go to breaking point. You are going to lose. You know, if you're winning the whole, the whole time, you know, that means your teammates aren't stepping it up. So they're not trying to, they're not trying to smash you and, you know, but, but again, they want to, they want to take you to breaking point. So that's a whole purpose. So, you know, and as you get fitter, they go harder. They're fresh. You know what I mean? So no matter how fit you are, I don't care who you are. I'm, I believe I'm one of the fittest UFC fighters there is today. And I am going to get to breaking point. And that's the whole purpose of it. 